Hey guys, girls and boys. Uh, today I'm going to do a small video for you guys to get some guidance on how to wear your proper cricket gear. As you can see that I'm kitted up for a match uh, with my uh, uniform, the cricket uniform, with my shoes on. So when I say shoes, you have to ensure that you have proper cricket shoes. Now this one, as you can see the studs, uh, is the rubber soles or else you must uh, if you're playing on turf wickets, you can have a boots which will have the cricket, uh, the steel knobs, which is not uh, what I'm wearing right now. But uh, whatever the shoe you wear needs to be a proper cricket shoe like this, so you have a proper grip. That's your point, starting point. And the easiest way to remember how to gear up yourself is it's a bottoms up approach. So you are starting from toes and it'll go up to your fingers, and that's your highest point when you raise your hands. So we are going to start from bottom, uh, as you can see, I have the mandatory gear, so I have my pads, I have my ball guard, I have my thigh pads, I have my gloves, I have my helmet, I also have the arm guard and the chest guard as well in case, right? So I'm going to uh, tell you some tricks on the pads, so because I'm a right hand pad, uh, so I have the right hand batting pads, so you can see you have the velcro and you have a buckle on one side. So the best way to wear your pad, the recommendation is to ensure that your buckles, these buckles are on the inside when you wear it. So one pair of buckles, one set of buckles inside here and the other set of buckles will be inside here. The way we wear it is that, uh, if you do that, what will happen is when you run between the wickets, those velcros will not scratch against each other and open up. So let us do from bottoms up. I'm going to put my pads on. Uh, set it up nicely in the base of your shoe. Put your bottom one. And then you come up and uh, put your velcros. You can re-tighten re it. Just ensure that your socks, what you're wearing, is long socks. Because if you wear the small ankle socks, sometimes your last uh, velcro might be on your skin and it might irritate you or hurt you when you run. So ensure that you wear long socks because your cricket pants might not be long enough to cover it. So I've got my uh, left leg sorted and uh, worn up and I'm going to now put my right leg. So let me show you in this way. So, properly seated on the base of your foot and then get the velcro around, tighten it. It needs not be very tight it needs to be tightened enough so that it doesn't move around but it should also have a little bit of flexibility because uh, when you run between the wickets otherwise your, your pads will run so move around so if it is not tight you can tighten it again so basically just do a bit, a bit of juggling to see whether it's fit so your pads are done now so your shoes are done the pads are done the next thing which will go is your ball guard so I have my ball guard. Just ensure one trick on the ball guard. You need to ensure that your underpants are very tight and recommendation is to wear two underpants. So one in between the ball guard so that you can have it sealed properly so there is no irritation, scratching, whatever uh, uh, uncomfortable feeling. So best recommendation is to have a uh, uh, very tight uh, inner, inner thigh, thigh uh, short type of uh, underpant which will be best uh, together with your normal underpants. So, I'm going to wear my ball guard. And as you have done it, you should ensure that it's positioned so that you are able to bend, you are able to run, all that. The next thing which will go is your thigh pads. So, I have the double thigh pad, which is basically well go bound. So, there is two sides to the thigh pad, so you have to wear it properly to ensure that you got it properly aligned, right? So, yes, you got to get your pants down because it's a match situation. So you get your first one in, around. So now you're getting it around the waist so that you position yourself. Now remember, your thigh right, right hander, your leg should protect from the top of your pad, from the top of your pad, all the way to the hip, okay? That's where your guard is. And then your inner leg, you go inside like this and it should be, when you bat, it should be, you know, the inside edges should hit here. So it should be like positioned properly. It should not be on this side. 
it should be guarding you. So in between the ball guard, so you got proper padding around your thigh pad. And then what you do is you get your shirt tucked in and you pull your trousers up so that you are now done below waist basically of your gear. Now you tie yourself up and ensure your laces are inside so that it doesn't scratch you or tangle you when you're batting. Ensure that you are able to raise your hands on both sides with your t-shirt tucking so that you have enough space to maneuver around like this, okay? So that's done. The next thing which you will wear is your chest guard. Now chest guard is mandatory for a bouncy pitch or uh, you know in Australia, South Africa, England type of bouncy pitches. So you're basically, I will show you how to wear it inside, outside sorry. So you're wearing it like this and you're wearing it like this. Now here I'm wearing it outside just to show you the angle. But basically before you uh, tuck your t-shirt in, so you've got to put up your t-shirt and then wear it inside. So let me just show you just in case. Uh, so that you know you do not mess around with it as well so let's go around get your top one then get your bottom one then get your shirt tied in tucked in Trousers up, again, ensure that the t-shirt is nice so that you can move around. Tie it in, laces in, and the laces go inside so that nothing is hanging around. Nice and tight, everything fit. So, you got to wear the next gear, that's your arm guard. You can put your arm guard, so I've got a Kukupura one which has a slide in and then arm around. So it's my right hand, so I will obviously wear it on my top hand, which is the left hand. That's all done. Can you guess the next one in? Is it the gloves? Is it the helmet? It is the helmet. Because I said it's going bottoms up. Because next thing, when you raise your hand, is the helmet. So a helmet, I'm wearing a GM. Uh, so it has the back adjuster, so you loosen it up. And since I'm wearing spectacles, and many, many students who are wearing spectacles these days, I will remove it. So if you're wearing a cap, remove the cap, get rid of that, remove your spectacles, slide it in this way, chin in and head in, so that all your hair is chin upward. And then you position your belt very tightly. Here's another trick. So when you tighten it up, slightly tighten it, now your glasses. Remember, your glasses are important, your vision is important. So ensure that you have a proper towel, a dry, clean towel, no oil whatsoever. Do a final cleanup because you must be messy, you must be oily. Do a final cleanup, ensure that the lenses are pretty clean and then you slide it in from the front. I have a prop, uh, pretty big glasses but it still can go because you don't find glasses which are bigger than the ball. So your space here should be the maximum space that you can get but ensure that the ball cannot be pushed through here. That's very important when you play cricket. So you have a ball, um, just make sure that uh, you uh, basically basically ensure that it does not go inside because that's your protection. So you cannot, if the ball is going inside, you need to adjust from the top and ensure that they are tightened so that you don't have any problem of ball getting through the grill okay so all of that is done next is your gloves that's your last thing when you lift up your hands right i have right hand pair of gloves so obviously your left hand on the right hand pair of gloves does not have the thumb protection because that's how your top hand will work so you have to start wearing your left hand put your left hand in i'll tell you why you need to put the left hand in because when you put your left hand in your thumb is free and you can open the velcro and use the thumb to pull it up so when you put the right hand in you are able to maneuver with your thumb which is not having the thick protection so you put your left uh, right hand later so once your gloves are in you have to position your uh, 
uh, arm guard again to the right position for the right angle to ensure that you have complete protection on your arm from top to bottom which covers between the glove and all. So I'm geared up, uh, I've got a couple of bats here so let me take the bat. So when you take the bat again ensure that the bats are sealed properly covered. I have two bats which I'm using right now as usual so I have a SS uh, range rampage which is a slightly heavier bat with thick and uh, English willow again very good meaty bat so I will open my innings with this when I'm facing the fast bowlers and uh, once I'm settled down I would change it to my kookaburra that's again meaty but slightly lighter uh, so when you take the bats to ensure that uh, your proper grains on the bat uh, you have as many lines as possible because that's when you when you get uh, a good power out of the bat and uh, ensure that your bite bat is right size so it is not taller than uh, your waist at any given time the bat should not stand taller than your waist the maximum height of the bat will be when you're standing still maximum around the waist height because when you're children you will get bats which are up to your chest so don't go for those bats whether it's nice sticker nice brand whatever ensure that you have the bat for the right side right size and that's it so i'm ready uh, uh, this video is done just to ensure that uh, you guys know how to wear your gear and when you come back after batting at the end of your innings whether you got out or not ensure that once you remove your gloves ensure they are positioned in such a way that they are left like this feeling it upwards so that it will dry off especially in the summer season when you're so sweaty right and the helmet again you remove your glasses pull it off and then leave the helmet upside down like this so that it dries off. All your gear, once it is removed, you can remove your pads first, there is no order to remove. You have to remove them and keep it like this for some time to dry off. And then you have to take care of your gear. So the bats needs to be clean, surfaced and there are certain bats which you need to oil like this one. This is properly oiled as you can see it's nice and shiny. Uh, this bat has the English tape on it. Uh, it does not need to be oiled so this is a bat which is already ready to play and it does have the full tape on it so you don't have to oil it uh, that's it folks i hope enjoy you enjoyed it uh, ensure that this discipline is maintained to ensure that you have most efficient way of dressing up your gear as well as your match discipline is uh, maintained with taking care of your gear because that if you take care of your gear the respect you give towards your gear will ensure that the respect is given back to the game as well. Your discipline, self-discipline on and off the field is the most important key aspect of playing cricket. It's a game of gentlemen. Enjoy it. Thank you very much.